welcome back to my channel, Face Garden. It's so good to see you. It's so good to be able to be back telling you guys the truth of the word of the gospel. So let's talk about mental illness, right? What is mental illness? Because the last time I checked in the word of God, it says that we have not been given a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. So the last part really resonates. A sound mind. So when the doctors say you have schizophrenia, when the doctors say you have depression, when the doctors say you have multiple personality disorder, when the doctors say you have bipolar disorder, what does that mean? Does that negate the fact that God told you that you have a sound mind? Yes. Yes, it does. This is what the world does. It lies to you. It told us not to be conformed to this world. Stop running to these doctors and asking them to tell you what's wrong with you. You are healed. 39, 39 lashes is what he took for us. Sorry, I had to think about it. I know it from a song. 39 lashes, the wounds in your side. He brought us back to life. Okay? He didn't, each one of those stripes means healing in some way. Iniquity, disease, okay? Manifestation of our sin. He took it all. Stop giving in to Satan and his lies that you are not healed. You are healed. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Do you know who you are? Continue to read your word. Read your word every day. The time is near. It ain't tomorrow, maybe. You never know. No man knows the day nor the hour, so be prepared. It's so important that you know your word. All right, so let's talk about it. Schizophrenia, which is what I've been diagnosed with, is a gift. And I don't want to hear what you have to say about it. He's going to work it out in our favor. Because it says in Romans 8, 28, And we know, not we think, but we know, what does that mean when you know something? It means without a shadow of a doubt. We know that one plus one is two. We know that three plus two is five, right? We know. So this is what we know. It says, and we know that in all things, God works for the good of those who love him, who have been called, hello, calling you according to his purpose. All right, so we know that in all things, todo, todo, it covers all things in Espanol. Entiendes? God works for the good of those who love him, corazón, Dios, who have been called, llamar, llámame, he's calling me, he's calling you, according to his purpose. Okay? What does that mean? What does that mean? Let's talk about it. Okay? Because what are people saying? People are saying that schizophrenia is a death sentence. People are saying that you need to be heavily medicated in order to be functional in society, which is the world, to live. People are saying they should proceed with caution around you because you have schizophrenia and that means that you're a little cuckoo, baby. But let me tell you what schizophrenia and bipolar and depression is. What is God saying when, he, when, when, when we get this diagnosis? Why do I feel so weird? Why are things so different? Why am I depressed? It's because he's calling you. Wake up. Wake up! Hello? Can you hear me? I called you, Jamar. I'm calling you, my friend. I'm calling you, my daughter. I'm calling you, my son. Do you hear me? That schizophrenia, that voice that you got in your head? I'm telling you to wake up. What do you hear? Read your word. Because you, you strayed a little bit. You got too far from me. I don't know who you are anymore. So I'm giving you all these personalities, multiple personality disorder, because I don't know who you are. 
wake up. Wake up. That's what he's saying with these diseases of the mind. Disease of the mind. When you have not been given a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. Stop giving up your sound mind for what the doctor's diagnosis says. Stop giving up your healing for the, what the for what the doctor diagnosed as cancer. In the name of Jesus, be healed. In the name of Jesus, read your word and renew your mind. In the name of Jesus, walk by faith and not by sight. Entiendes? Es muy importante. Tú entiende. También. Okay. So. We're called. He's calling you. Wake up. And we have to have faith to believe that this is not just a diagnosis that means a death sentence, like schizophrenia. No. Your father is telling you to wake up. And it takes faith to believe in what I'm saying. Because faith is a substance of things hoped for, but not seen. Okay? So what do you see? You see people going crazy, right? You see people killing people and murdering. But have faith. Because he has a purpose in everything. Are you awake? Can you hear me? Read your word. It's very important. Okay. Salaam alaikum says here. Do you read? Do you read? Yeah. It's a Quran in uh, Spanish. Yeah, no, I don't need that. Do you read English or Spanish? English. Y español. I got, I got one in English too. I got one in Spanish. Do you read it? No, thank you. Okay, bye. Adios. Que tenga buen día. Uh, same to you. Gracias. Okay, so let's talk about what the called is. Called are those who are gifted, like David, like Esther, like Noah, right? Noah. Noah wasn't, Noah didn't have a gift. Noah was very scared, right? But he called him to redeem him. Some of us are called to be redeemed by redemption. Stop ignoring the call of God and start living in his promise. He came to redeem and to save and to give hope and to, and to bear stripes of, the, of his love. Okay? Are you ready to answer the call? Yeah, mommy. Talk to your father. He wants to hear from you. Don't get discouraged by what you hear, by what you see around you, because faith is a substance of things hoped but not seen. Remember, what we see is temporary, but what happens is the spirit is eternal. Pray for your spirit. Pray for your father's spirit. Pray for Jesus' spirit. That's all I have to say, guys. I love you. Thank you for watching.